Hi, I am Wendy Thomas with All Is Strength Ministries. You can follow me on Facebook. I carry this cross every day. Praise be to God. Praise Woo! God. It's worthy of it all. Amen. So I ran. So as soon as I got here, I'm here at the coalition. Everybody's going to be eating and stuff, uh, praying for people in their time of need right over here. Yeah. But basically, um, I ran into Pamela. And Pamela has a testimony to tell you. She's going to um, tell you how uh, the Lord has radically transformed her life Amen. Um, from the inside out. And this is what, um, this is just one person who can tell you of his great love. Go ahead. So I'm Pamela, and um, it's, um, it is now September 1st or 2nd, but yes. the point is, is that uh, for the last couple of years, I let depression and some losing some people in my life really caused me to spiral downward into uh, the depths of hell. And um, I was, thought I was angry with God. And it was just a few months ago that I saw Wendy here, um, and I didn't know her name at the moment before I met her, but I saw her with the cross, and, and I knew that I could have whatever this was in her eyes. Mm. But I wasn't ready, because I was just really hurt. And uh, But I always prayed to God. Even when I was mad, I was praying to God. Amen. Even when I was what? So I would see her, and I saw her a few times, with her beautiful spirit telling us, you and us, that he loves us and we don't have to live this way. Right. So for those few months, I have done things that are totally unspeakable and that should say it all. And I want whoever watches this to know, or whoever is here to know, I used to sit under this tree and wonder what to do for that day. And I'm not even much of a drinker, but I would find myself doing that. And my point is, is <laughs> one day I said to him, you know, I have to die. <laughs> that is a miracle for me. But prior to that day, he would, it felt like God, no, God did do this. Trust me when I say he would go, Pamela, if you put one more foot in front of the other, I got something really good for you. And I would be, look, it was, I will remember one day it was pouring down. I was walking that bridge and God kept saying, please don't give up on me. One more foot in front of the other. Well, it still took about, I guess that was about three months ago. And it took seeing her a couple times with this beautiful light that's in her eyes. This is the spirit of the Lord. And it is all, look, God is all around us. Sometimes God's tears are other people's tears and we don't understand that at the moment. But one day these people are gonna help someone too. Just like I hope too and that you have. So with that being said and him saying, Please put one more foot in front of the other. I did, and one day I kept going in and out of a program. We all know that program, and it didn't stick, but this one time that I said to God, either I have to die or it has to change, I think he knew I had no more steps at that time. I had gone so many, <laughs> but with his love. And I walked in that room, and I knew I was home again, and what I was home for was the Spirit of God said, I got you, I've always had you, but now we can do some different work and I kept so with that feeling of being reborn with God again even though he was always with me through Christ Jesus I knew I was home and I knew that my trials weren't going to be nothing like they had been and they weren't and this has only been a few weeks that my life went from from not knowing what to do all day long and asking God, God, in my heart and soul, please show me how I can fix this. And you don't fix it, you change it. We're not broken. We just need to remember our direction. That's right. And we need to hear God tell us, don't go that road, go that road. I can't count the times that I look now and I know I took the wrong road. Yes. Well, we, we all took the wrong road and, and God is always there for us. He's there to lift us up, to say there's better for you. Yep. I mean, he is. And he has. I just want everybody to know, Wendy, yeah. just like you had shared your story mm -hmm. with me that day. Up at the, she, she also, as I'm sure all of you viewers know, that she also goes to the bus depot and, and she will, is willing to tell a, a short version of her story. But that's all you need out here is a short version to know that you picked yourself up through the grace of God from a place of darkness. And through the grace of watching her and knowing that God's always been with me, and when I was mad at him, I look now, I wasn't. I just was poor out. I was. I lost a lot of good loved ones. But you know what? They didn't die. They went home. But it, did, it took me coming here to this place I'm at right now to know that they didn't die. They went home. And one day I get to go home. 
but while I'm here, how dare me disrespect my God that I love. And when I do things I shouldn't be doing, I'm disrespecting him. And you know what I love about God? He doesn't like beat me up if I think <laughs> stupid things. If I think something bad, like if I look at somebody and they make me, they hurt my feelings and I think something bad, I go, sorry, I'm not perfect. <laughs> And, but that's, that's right. why Jesus died for our sins, because we're human. That's right, we're human. So, we all fall short every day. None every of day. us, no, not righteous. No, no not one righteous. Right, not oh, one. He loves us no matter what. Definitely you know? not me righteous, but I'll tell you, he loves yeah. me so, he loves so much. He loves us so much. He loves all of us. Listen, listen, guys, I'm not kidding. John, you know me, and you know what I was doing out there was wrong. And I couldn't get away from that, could I? And look at me. I'm moving into my own home. Today she so, has her own. I do, and I went and bought a and I went and bought a couch. Woo! <laughs> she bought a couch. I mean, is that not the grace of God? This is what but God can do. That's what God can do. But God is love. Put work in that John, but it's God not handed. Love. But it is handed to you. But you have to walk over to get it. It's, it's not <laughs> that. Right. It's not that he's going. You're if you want it, come and get it. He's saying it's here for you. But I have said this. God has so many things to do in this world. There's so many more sufferings than we have. So I remember that when I think that I was something stupid. I have to remember there are children every day who have no choice of how their lives are. So I always go, okay, forgive me. I know that I am nothing compared to what's going on. However, I count too. I'm, I'm his daughter too. And all of y'all are God's children. That's right. And all I'm of telling you. And he's going to set every one of them free today in Absolutely. the name of Jesus. Woo! Yes, for fame, you Hallelujah. Sure. Thank you for the that testimony. Um, Pamela, I appreciate it. And that just goes to show you that God can do all things, but he cannot fail.